Hello everybody. So I got all my ECM tuning stuff all set up. Got me some programs downloaded. So we're going to go over that a little bit and I'll probably go ahead and remove the vats off of my 5.3 computer and get it all set up and ready so that when I get my engine all my oil pan and everything here I can go ahead and slap it in whatever I decide to put it in. So stay tuned. I'll show you guys what I'm going to do. All right, so I just went in a PCM hammer. I'm going to use that for a minute. Let's see here. So let's read properties on this one. So there's all my info. There's the OS ID, my VIN number, all that kind of stuff's all right there. <clears throat> let's see here. Read entire PCM. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to name this Jesse 53 LS. <clears throat> now I'm going to save it to that. And this is making a bin file so I can edit the file. So I'll save that to there. And it's been turned on for 10 seconds because you want to stay turned on for 10 seconds so that it can read the PCM. And then you can go into it. See now, here it goes. It's reading it now. And it's probably going to take a minute. Let's see here. I'll move this up a little bit so we can see it better here. Okay, yeah, see, it's got three minutes so far. So almost four minutes and it dropped back down a little bit. So I'll go ahead and time lapse this so that you guys aren't sitting here waiting forever while we do this. And then we'll go from there once it's done. I'll show you guys here. All right, so I'm done running while well, building my freaking file here. So now that I'm done building my file, I can exit out of this and then go back to, let's see here. Oops. Universal Patcher. It's a free, that's a freeware, so. It's pretty good. Whoops, I don't know why I tried to open it with that. That's kind of was stupid. That's not what it's supposed to open with. There we go. I got her opened up now. <clears throat> so we can go to Ben file on here. Well, if it's gonna let me in, let's see here. Open bin. So it's going to, let's see. Jesse 53 LS bin is what I'm looking for. So I will open that up into here. So, okay. So now that we're into here on Universal Patcher. So you can go down right here where it says column lock. Whoops. Dang it, what did I do here? Freaking thing. Where did that go? Let's see. Okay, column lock right here. And you only got two options on there. So down here at the bottom, it'll tell you, it'll say column lock present. This calibration enables, disables the column lock functionality currently only why car should be true. Units, Boolean enables or disables a column lock. So, so what it's saying is <clears throat> if it's, let's see, unchecked equals disabled and checked equals enabled so let's see here do, 
So since this is unchecked right here, and it shows this over here, usually you go in here and this will be checked. So this is basically your vats. So now I've done that, now I can go, let's see here. So I'm just going to change that for now, just so that basically when I get my oil pan changed out, I can fire that up on a stand. So let's see, save bin. <clears throat> and once you do that it'll do the checksums and make sure everything's okay it'll tell you okay okay and done so that's finished so let's see here so I can go out of here again or I can go let's see yeah let's go out of here it'll be easier to do this other way so I'm exiting universal patcher and going to, let's see, we use PCM hammer here, so. Let's see, so. Let's do a test right on this so it's going to take me to let's see here so my file has been edited now let's see yep that's gonna be the one so open So you got to make sure that your computer has been on for 10 seconds for your switches, which I've got right over here, my two switches. <clears throat> so it's doing just a test right right now. And it'll tell me at the end if it's everything's okay or not. And then I'll know if I need to go back and check something. So let's see what it's going to say here in a minute. I don't think it takes too long on this one. Let's see. Yeah, see it's almost done. It's at 85, 90, 90. Okay, it says, all right, request messages succeeded on the first try. You have an excellent connection to the PCM. We're not sure how much retrying is normal for a ride operation. <clears throat> so anyway, it's so it's saying it's okay. So I would do a test right before you do an actual right. So I'm going to go ahead now and write my calibration. It says this will update the calibration on your PCM. So okay. <clears throat> So I'm going to hit continue because it's been on for more than 10 seconds. So it's checking everything and when it's done, I shouldn't have vats anymore. Let's see if I can move this up so I can see the bottom a little better. So. It's almost done, so I'm going to let it get done real quick, and then we'll go back in and see if the file changed or not. So stay tuned for that. All right, so <clears throat> I went ahead and installed that new tune, and I went back into it and pulled the bin file again, and then checked it against what I've been working on. 
and it shows that the vats is gone so we'll find out once we get the harness done probably next video i got this harness over here i'll have to show you guys but i'm gonna take that harness i'm gonna take all the unnecessary stuff out that it doesn't need to work anymore and then we'll just kind of go from there and put it together and we'll probably end up firing up this engine on the stand over here so it's gonna be fun so i'm excited i want to get it going really bad <clears throat> excuse me kind of well not feeling real great today so i've got my harness over here i'll just go ahead and show you guys real quick all right so move this out of the way there's my harness right there hanging on my xr that we were building a while ago in here so that harness has everything and it has the battery cables everything but i've got to cut this plug here off and then i gotta go on lt1.com i think is the website if i remember correct i gotta go on there and it'll show me pinouts for this particular wire harness for the year that i'm doing and then it'll tell you what you can unpin out of see here if i can find those plugs so basically these two plugs right here are what you will be unpinning from so there will be wires in there that i don't really need for my application like i'm not going to probably have cruise control any of that kind of stuff but i want my harness to be cleaned up so that when it's on my engine which is over there in the corner with the rest of the mess that i got over there <laughs> we'll get it all cleaned up too here shortly so that'll probably about do it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys what you can do with like probably 60, 70 bucks. You can buy the stuff that you'd need to build this whole setup that I've got here. Which I'll show you guys and walk you through that real quick before I'm done. And kind of show you what I've put together here. I found it on a bunch of places which I'll probably post, uh, post some stuff up for people that have built all these different things and give them credit for it because they are the ones that built it i'm just using it and trying it out so stay tuned i'll show you what i got all right so i've built this little box here so this is an obd2 plug right here i cut it out of an old vehicle at my house and i also cut the blue plug off for the computer which on the inside of that it looks just about like this one here this blue one but I have unpinned everything out of the back here, other than these four wires right here that run this whole setup. So you got the a black ground wire, the pink one is 12 volt hot, the orange one I believe is always hot, and I can't, I think that green one, the green one is actually, I don't know if it's the right color because I had to change a couple of the pins out. So that green one is just my data wire that runs into here. I went on obdxpro.com and bought this dongle, which is pretty awesome because you can plug it in this way, which I've got it plugged in that way right now here. But I also it also works with Bluetooth, so like I have some tuning software on my phone that I can play with when I want to, which is kind of cool. But so this is all wired into here. This is a hot wire, which I put a switch on it just because anyway. So I can turn the hot off there, but then the key, I can turn the key off and on. That's your key wire. So it turns off that, the 12 volt that's not constant, the pink wire. So that's about the extent of it. And like I can run, so the programs I've been using a little bit and trying to learn them or let's see here so i've got tuner pro which i just started using and figuring it out and i've also got this one down here pcm hammer and then also i've been using let's see here <clears throat> so this right here is universal patcher it's pretty awesome it's free as well so all three of these programs i just showed you have free features that you can use and it's kind of really quite awesome <clears throat> but that's pretty much the gist of that i guess so 
I tried to do a pretty clean install with all this stuff to get it all set up where it's not a disaster, but unfortunately I get all this stuff all tangled up. But so you need a 12 volt power supply. I've got this one right here. It's two amps. It came off of an internet router. An old internet router had that and it works really great for this. It powers this up perfectly. This has been working great so far. I think it was worth the money that I spent for it. So I'll put probably put the description of this in somewhere on my on this video. I don't know. Maybe like in the comment section or I'll just put it in the description of the video. So you if you guys want to learn how to make this or anything like that, let me know. I'd be more than glad to make a video and show you guys how to make this whole setup. I made mine the way I made it with this box because I have this other box right here that those boxes fit inside of. You can see there's a couple of them in there with stuff in them already. But they fit in there perfectly. So that's a great storage box the way I got that set up. Okay, so I'll probably end up doing another video here shortly where I am going to... I'll take all the tape and everything off of that. Off of my the adapter I made, my bench test harness. That's right here. But I'll probably just take all the tape off of that and I will get find a little draw a little wire diagram so you guys can build this if you want to you can add your own little touches to it like I like my little box that I built for the hot and the key because it just makes it more tidy and I don't have stuff that's just taped into a cord and looking crappy so that about wraps this video up but so the next one I'm probably going to be working on that wire harness that's over here over there that way and I'm going to be working on that engine, doing the valve cover gaskets on it and stuff like that. And the intake gaskets. And hopefully we can get this, get the oil pan and stuff on it. And get a starter on that engine and get it fired up after I get this harness built. So I think it's going to be a blast just to get it fired up and try it out. And then after that, we're going to work on Kean's motorcycle. But we got to do a little more cleaning in this shop first. <laughs> it's kind of a mess in that corner because everything's you get set over there. So, but anyway, Kian's little, his motorcycle's pretty cool. We need to do some carb work on it. So we'll be doing that soon. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you guys are getting any knowledge out of this and helps the channel grow and we can keep doing these videos. So thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all and y'all have a good day.